Our Veeam Cloud and Service Rider program has been around for more than 10 years now, and in that time, our partners have been able to deliver great services based on Veeam technologies. One of those is DR as a Service. Let's take a look and see how Veeam Backup Replication can offer DR as a Service. Right, now that we've heard about the value proposition that our Veeam Cloud and Service Providers offer to our customers, let's go and see how you would search for one. And what we can do is go to the Find Veeam Powered Services page. So what we've got here is a drop down list. So let's actually search here for DR as a service. Uh, let's change it to, let's go to Australia. Just obviously that's where I am, but there's plenty in the United States as well. Filter by platform, we're gonna go VMware vSphere. And then let's filter by platform. And then let's sign in actually. So if you do have a Veeam login, you'll get a better result. So let's do that. And once signed in, let's see what the list brings back. So again, Offsite backup, let's change it to DRAZ. And then let's filter by platform. And what we get is a list of partners. So let's click on Zetagrid as an example. We can see their offerings. We can see they've got a free trial. Let's contact the VCSP, which should take us to the actual catalog page. And from here, you'd be able to order the service. So here you go. If we were doing this in Australia as an example, we would basically order through here and complete the process. Now, if we go back to the Veeam Backup Replication Console, we can see here that under Backup Infrastructure, I've already added a couple of service providers. So you can see that I've added that Zetagrid one, and I've also added some Aperture Lab Cloud Connect providers themselves. So let's have a look and focus on this Cloud Connect Aperture Labs one, which is gonna provide us with uh, replication as a service. So if we have a look here, We'll go to home, we'll see we've got a number of jobs configured. So obviously here, I've configured a general Veeam Cloud Connect repository offsite. We've got a local job, that then does a copy job to the Cloud Connect repository. But what we've got here down in this location is a Veeam Cloud Connect replication to VCD. So this is gonna actually take VMs that we've got locally, which will take the VMs from the local vCenter to the remote cloud director service. Let's have a look and see how that job is actually configured. We can see we're actually replicating successfully already a couple of VMs. And if we go to our replicas, what we'll see here, we already have these VMs listed. Okay, so we've got seven restore points. Now what I wanna do for the purpose of this quick video is to create a failover plan. And this will basically allow us to group these VMs together and if disaster happened, execute on the failover plan. Because as they are, we can instigate a individual recovery, but we can't do them together. So let's actually call this um, VCCR failover plan 01. Let's add the virtual machines from the list of replicas. So add the VM here. It should only list the Cloud Connect VMs. Here we go. So let's go VCCR there. Let's select those machines. Okay, so they're added to the list and you've got the option here to basically order them. So, so let's actually go here and move the domain controller up to the first one. So we can set delays here as well, boot delays, 60 seconds or whatnot. So let's actually change that boot delay to 30 and then we'll go to the rest of them and change the boot delays a little bit lower so we can get this going a little bit quicker, right? Otherwise we're gonna be waiting 60 seconds every time. So let's do that, let's set these delays. Okay. Okay, let's click on next. And now what we have is the failover plan ready to go. Now that we've got the failover plan ready to go, let's look at executing that plan. But before that, let's go into the Cloud Director organization. Let's have a look at those VM replicas as they sit in the actual Cloud Director servers itself. So if we go here, we've got this virtual data center. We can see that these machines here are equal to what we saw in the Veeam Backend Replication Console. We've also got the network extension appliance here. So in this case, I've configured this job to leverage our Veeam network extension appliance, which effectively stretches the layer two network between the cloud site and the on-premise location. Now, you could bring your own through Cloud Director or leverage NSX built-in um, edge services there. So let's actually go and execute that failover plan that we configured before. Let's go back to the console. Um, this can be executed from a number of different locations, but for the simplicity's sake, let's just start this plan here. So we're gonna start it straight away. And what we will see is this kicking off. Now, if we go back to the Cloud Director console, we should start to see some things happening here. So let's bring up the task list and let's give it a little bit of time to kick off 
that failover process. And you can see here that the domain controller that we configured to bring online first has been started. You can see the machines starting to power on. So let's click into this machine here. You can see that we're powered on and that it's loading up. So what will happen here is that effectively then we can launch a web console, we can do a remote console, and we'll start to get all of these services up and running. So together, these four machines obviously create the services and applications that are required for this business to operate once a disaster has happened. So we can see that we're running these virtual machines. If we go back to the Veeam console, we'll see that we've started to have a successful failover plan that has been executed and we're up and running, okay? So now if we go back to the cloud director and we click on virtual machines, we'll see that we're all basically running them powered on, powered on, and the other ones will basically start to power on as well. So there you go, there's a very quick overview and quick example of the power of Veeam Cloud Connect replication that is leveraged by our cloud and service providers to offer DR as a service, all configurable from the Veeam Backup Replication Console and available from our Veeam Cloud and Service Providers. For more information on DR as a service, please head to veeam.com.